Okay, now before we wrap up our coverage here in New York, we want to harken back to last night. Uh, we got to go to one heck of a party, actually. We went up uh, top, top of the Empire State Building, got to see the new 2015 Mustang out there on the observation deck. And John, what do you think of Ford's marketing efforts? I mean, to me, they really nailed this. Well, this is, of course, a replay of a stunt that they did in 1965 when they brought a 1965 Mustang um, piece by piece up the elevators of the Empire State Building and set it up on the observation deck. And this has been talked about for many years. They recreated that stunt yesterday, bringing a 2015 Mustang GT convertible, nice yellow car, in pieces, uh, carefully sized to fit in the Empire State Building elevators, uh, and right up there and assembled it out there. Uh, Ford Chief Operating Officer Mark Fields actually told us uh, last night that, that they practiced it for quite a while using a mock-up of the elevator in Dearborn uh, back at Ford headquarters. Uh, so, <laughs> because they had apparently five hours to do the whole thing from loading it into the building to having a finished product assembled up on the 89th floor or whatever it was on the observation deck. Yeah. So it was an impressive effort. And uh, you know, when we were in Detroit, I think the F-150 pickup was one of the big, big stories there. Now we're in New York and this Empire State Building trick is, is one of the big stories here. So, uh, you know, I think I handed it to Ford for, for grabbing some headlines. Uh, Ford certainly uh, did their best to steal the show here. Uh, Toyota showed off the Camry, that was an important debut. Uh, the Hyundai Sonata was an important debut. But uh, Ford really knows how to throw a party and really knows how to, how to, how to take over an event, really. And they, yeah. they, they had a big presence here, really, when they didn't have a whole lot to show, the anniversary edition of the Mustang and the updated Focus. But uh, there were a lot of senior Ford executives here. The, the, the company was here in force, uh, and they made a big impression. And that ends our coverage of uh, Media Day here at the New York International Auto Show. Oh, but we, we filmed a lot of uh, other great stories. So be sure to stay tuned at full.com in the week or so ahead, and we'll have more stories out for you, uh, breaking down a lot of things here. So John, enjoyed it, and uh, folks, we'll see you again next time.